According to a Weibo post that cites the Wall Street Journal, National Zoo officials announced that the newest female baby panda born in the U.S. will be named Bao Bao, which means precious treasure. Bao Bao is the second surviving cub born at the National Zoo since the first panda arrived in 1972 following President Richard Nixon's historic visit to China. According to Chinese tradition, babies are given names when they are 100 days old. And so officials from the Smithsonian's National Zoo and the Chinese ambassador to the U.S. gathered at the zoo's panda house to announce the name that was chosen by the public from over 123,000 votes. Bao Bao will have a public unveiling in early 2014. Bao Bao's other brother, named Tai Shan, was born in 2005. However, he was returned back to China for breeding. Giant pandas are considered critically endangered in the wild, and China's Sichuan province is the only place in the world where they are found. And over the decades, giant pandas have become a symbol of friendly Chinese diplomacy. And now let's take a look at what Chinese Weibo users had to say about this story. They chose a very average name. I think every Chinese mother calls her baby Bao Bao. They are calling the panda Bao Bao? That's not even a real name. How come they are not giving the panda a real name? Bao Bao is not that bad. I guess she's a symbol for a better Sino-U.S. relations and that the relationship is a precious treasure. I wish Bao Bao good health and I hope China and the U.S. could become better partners. I don't see why the media of both countries tries to portray the other as a threat. There's more to gain from working together for world peace than to constantly undermine the other for an upper hand. I have to say that pandas have been thoroughly exploited by the Chinese. I don't think there is any other animal with such a high status level as the giant panda. China's use of pandas as a form of diplomacy can be traced back all the way to the Tang Dynasty when Empress Wu Zetian sent a pair to the Japanese emperor. The practice was then revived in the 1950s, and between 1958 and 1982, China sent out 23 pandas to nine different countries. The panda pair Ling Ling and Sing Sing were given as gifts to the U.S. after President Richard Nixon's historic visit to China. By 1984, China began to loan the pandas out on 10-year leases with a fee of up to a million dollars per year and a provision that any cubs born during the loan period would be property of the People's Republic of China. Pandas have become important diplomatic symbols, especially to the Chinese. In January of 2006, U.S. Deputy Secretary of State Robert Zolek was photographed hugging a five-month-old panda in Sichuan province. The image was broadcast widely by the Chinese media, with analysts suggesting that it was a sign of his support for better Sino-American relations.